As we enter our robotic arm unit, we see some of the fabulous parts of physics coming together, namely mechanics and electronics. In a unit studying an application that is very, very useful in today's society, that being a robotic arm. The robotic arm you see here has two different links, as we see here labeled arm 1 and arm 2, of length L1 and L2. Over here we have the XY position of the desired location for the hand. We're going to be studying for a while some of the basic mathematics behind positioning that robotic arm so that the hand is in the desired location. As you look through this page at our class website, you will see some interactives that I would like to introduce you to in this video. I would like you to be aware that some of these interactive uh, elements in the page may require that you unblock um, them in your browser. You may have a little shield that appeal, appears in your browser that will be, um, you'll be able to click it and then allow the insecure or what they might say unsafe con content, although I guarantee it, it's perfectly safe. Okay, so let's also take a look at the unit project checklist. This is a simple checklist for you to periodically get a grip on what you need to put into your final presentation uh, for this particular unit. As you're filling out this checklist, go ahead and put your name in there. And then whether your project will be a paper or a presentation. And then the following are going to be yes, no questions addressing the content that should be in your final presentation. It's just a little checklist. If you wish to copy these and put them into a hard copy or something, feel free to do so. We're looking for applying the Pythagorean theorem to inverse kinematics. We're looking to apply SOHCAHTOA to inverse kinematics. We're looking to apply the law of cosines to inverse kinematics. We're looking to apply the straight angle theorem to inverse kinematics. We're also looking to show an example of applying the angle addition postulate to inverse kinematics and also to show a comparison of forward and inverse kinematics and discussing the revel relevance of inverse kinematics to robotics. Uh, we want to present a basic introduction of the Arduino and its use in prototyping. Uh, we want to discuss uh, servos and their application to robotic arms and a brief discussion of what an Arduino sketch is and particularly the sketch uh, used in the final build, where you actually build a robotic arm. You want to contain a picture or a video of your final build. Your project or your presentation, should I say, should also contain at least five graphs, tables, or images. You should also have links to any resources, online resources that you use. You don't have to have a formal bibliography, though. Your project will be submitted on or before May 15th. And that is the checklist, which is right there on the project page. If you go down on the project page, I ask you to interact with a graph that you can make uh, more visible by clicking the settings and putting it into projector mode. And it's a graph of a robotic, re representing a robotic arm. I'm asking you to drag the X and Y sliders and you can also decide to put it into a full screen by clicking below it. In full screen mode, again, you'll need to change it to projector mode to see it more clearly. And then you can change the X and Y positions for the hand and watch the robotic arm perform 
the inverse kinematics necessary to get to where the desired location is. And then you can change the y as well. If it disappears, it means that the angle is not a possible angle, that it's not a place that the robotic arm could actually get to. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Okay, let's go back to the website, uh, the project page. And the next thing below is we want to get a little introduction, just a gentle introduction to the power language of computer science, and that's C++. It's very valuable in robotics as well as any almost any uh, programming situation. Over here I have an online environment where you can inspect some code. I put a lot of markup in here uh, where you can discuss or look at a discussion I make of the actual robotic arm. I provide really verbose descriptions of all of the quantities that are being conveyed in the code that is much shorter than the actual description. I go over the math, put in some ASCII art of my own, SOHCAHTOA, the law of cost cosines, the angle addition postulate, straight angle theorem, conversion between radians and degrees, and then I proceed with the code, which is much shorter. And you're just to be introduced into kind of like what code looks like, what you have to do with it to make it run, which is to compile and execute it. Um, so you always have to write it first and you would write something like you see here. Here's a function, for example, for computing the inverse kinematics. And you'd set up some values for things like the lengths for the upper and lower arms and the desired position for the robot hand. And then you could compile, for example, uh, click compile and it will proceed to compile. And then you could open the terminal and click execute. Look at the terminal output and it shows you the shoulder servo angle is computed and outputs to the terminal. The elbow servo angle is output to the terminal as well. So that's something for you to examine to get introduced to the way that math and physics is typically done in real life. And that is in uh, programs that guide um, much of the electronics computer programs uh, throughout the world today. Uh, the next thing we look at is very similar. It's Arduino math. Here we're introducing an Arduino controller, which is going to be like the brain of our robotic system. Talks a little bit about the use of a math library and that. The Arduino also is programmed with C++. You can also use other languages if you want, but did this in C++ as well. You're asked to interact by clicking certain buttons. If you go to the full screen for this, you will see that it can open up full screen. You're asked, asked to um, open up the code editor. Again, it's the, pretty much the same code with a couple variations to it. Uh, you're asked to open the serial monitor by clicking that button and then click upload and run and you'll see the output over in the serial monitor shows the servo uh, angle for the shoulder is 31.48 degrees and the elbow servo angle is 41.41 notice that this is just simply computing the math it doesn't have any servos involved i do have another simulation uh, that's below this one that has servos where we send the information, the angles, the requested angles to the servos themselves and address some actual realities that we deal with with servos. Um, let me illustrate that. So one of the things that we have to deal with when uh, we purchase real servos, if we go into the code editor, I make mention of this, and I put that over here in the code, is that Real servos, especially cheaper ones, uh, don't have very, very precise control. Uh, I make mention of that down here. Um, a matter of fact, cheap servos may have uh, 
uh, angular displacement precision less than one degree. Um, you can tinker with the servos to find out uh, what their response range is, and you need to uh, basically adjust for that. And that's what this does down here in the code. I adjust for the limited precision of the servos so that I'll still get the kind of output that we want to have. If I go ahead and upload and run this code to the Arduinos, you can see right here we have our two different servos going to the angles that we request. Notice that the orientation axis is a little bit different. As I point out on the website, I show that the um, elbow and the shoulder, the reference angles are actually on the negative x-axis rather than the positive x-axis for those angles. That's as far as we're going to go for the first part of this. Uh, we will be getting into physical materials, uh, materials for building the arms, for example. We'll talk a little bit about torque and some of the rotational dynamic uh, physics concepts. Uh, and then we'll get into building the final real thing. Uh, and then you'll finish up your presentation. But this has just been an introduction uh, to our very uh, real application of physics uh, in the servo um, powered uh, robotic arm.